The truth of Kevin Porter Jr. Kevin Porter Jr. has always managed to remain in the news. Since he joined the NBA in 2019 after he became the 30th overall pick in the draft, he was initially scooped up by the Milwaukee Bucks but ended up moving to the Cleveland Cavaliers in a trade in 2019. The young player would then go ahead and play 50 games for the Cavs where he recorded an average of 10 points, 3.2 rebounds, 2.2 assists, and .92 steals in 23.2 minutes. However, it came as a shock when the player was traded to the Houston Rockets in January. In return, the Cavaliers will get a future second-round draft pick from the Rockets, according to the Cavaliers' general manager, Kobe Altman. It's been almost four months since this trade, and it is important that the real truth about this trade is finally revealed. Kevin Porter Jr. is no doubt a great player with even greater potential. Why, then, did the Cavaliers decide to let him go? This suggests that there's more to the trade. Let's find out exactly what it is and why. Welcome to Courtside, your one-stop channel for the buzzing NBA news, rumors, and game analysis. Don't forget to hit the subscribes button and share this video with your friends. Kevin's trade and how it went down. In January, The Athletic reported that the Cavaliers and the Houston Rockets had agreed on a trade deal that involved second-year player Kevin Porter Jr. This came a week after the GM and Porter had an altercation in the locker room, and also a season where the player hadn't started a single game due to personal reasons. Before the incident, Kevin had been in the news consistently, and every single time these reports were completely negative. However, the locker room incident was the last thing the team would be putting up with. According to reports, the Cavaliers had given Porter's locker to new arrival, Torian Prince, and Porter was not okay with it. An argument had ensued between Kevin and GM Kobe Altman. During the argument, Kevin lamented over frustration at not starting any of the games and further yelled, modern day slavery during the encounter. Spencer Davis of BasketballNews.com said, The argument kept escalating and Porter was yelling about modern-day slavery. Porter had grown frustrated recently because the team had been holding him out. After the encounter, the team became determined to trade him, or even release him as quickly as possible. There's no doubt that Kevin is a talented player. In fact, several analysts suggested that Kevin would have been an easy lottery choice, but his questionable behavior made him enter the draft in the final pick of the first round. It becomes quite sad when you realize that the Cavs gave him the benefit of the doubt, only for his career with the team to end that way. As earlier suggested, the locker room incident wasn't all there was to the trade of Kevin. Right before he even joined the NBA, Kevin Porter Jr. had been in the news for the wrong reasons. Let's take a quick look at the real reasons why the Cavs finally decided to make that trade, even though it clearly defeated their rebuilding plans. His issues in the USC Way before he became part of the NBA, Kevin had already established himself as a bad boy. In 2019, the USC Trojans suspended the player indefinitely and prevented him from playing against Oregon. Despite the severity of this sanction, the USC team refused to reveal the reason for the suspension, only to state that he was put under suspension for personal conduct issues. Since the team refused to give official reasons for this sanction, the internet became rife with rumors, and they all suggested that this sanction could be due to Kevin's off-court behavior. After a seemingly disastrous season in the USC, Kevin applied for the NBA. His social media posts. Way back in October of 2020, Kevin made the news again after he made a series of posts on his Instagram story. The messages on his Instagram were quite cryptic, but one of them read, you ever wish to see the end of your time? Which caused fans to worry that the player was suicidal. Immediately, the head coach of the Cavs team, JB Bickerstaff and GM Kobe Altman called to check up on Kevin to make sure he wasn't going to hurt himself. Seeing the fans were still panicking, Kevin decided to send a follow-up message which read, Media's the worst. Appreciate you for the prayers and concerns, but it ain't it. I'm fine. Been through my worst times already. Can't get worse than what I've already been through. Love and thank you. His scary car accident. Roughly a month after his social media cryptic posts, Kevin was involved in a single car accident around the southeast end of Cleveland. His car, a Mercedes SUV, suffered extensive damage, and it was a miracle that the player came out of the accident without any injury. The police began investigating, mostly to be sure he wasn't under the influence of alcohol or drugs while driving. Consequently, it was discovered that he wasn't under the influence when the accident happened, but in his car was a loaded 45 caliber handgun and a tiny amount of marijuana. In a statement that the Cavs released, they revealed that they were aware of the situation and were doing everything within their power to gather information. The player was charged with a felony gun for improper handling of a firearm. He was also charged for illegally possessing marijuana and misdemeanor of driving without a license. If Kevin had gone to court, he would have faced potential prison time. However, all charges were dropped and the player later admitted that he was at fault for failing to control his car. Punching a woman's face now, the biggest setback came right after his arrest in November when two women came forward to say that Kevin had attacked them back in August. The police statement read, The women were in an apartment on the sixth floor of the building when Porter's sister and a 26-year-old woman exchanged words. Porter's sister, who was not named in the police report, punched the woman in the face, according to police. The woman's 19-year-old friend told police that Porter ripped out her hair weave and punched her on the left side of the face, according to police. 
A witness told police the punch knocked the woman against a refrigerator. Even though this clearly involved the Cavs since it was one of their players, the Cavs refused to make a statement about the event. Also, the player's lawyer, Alex Spiro, said that all the allegations were baseless and explains why they never led anywhere. At the end, the encounter with Cavs GM was the final straw and eventually made the team's executives decide that they could no longer put up with the behavior of the player. Kevin's current form with the Rockets. Everyone knows Kevin Porter is an interesting player, and we also knew that the trade from the Cavs was going to have a huge effect on the Cavs team. For a team actively looking to rebuild, the Cavs' decision to trade Kevin was born out of necessity, out of the fact that they could no longer cope with his behavior. As expected, the 20-year-old player is doing wonders with the Rockets. And just recently, he broke a record that was previously held by LeBron James. On Thursday, the player played 41 minutes against the Bucs, and he recorded 50 points on 16 of 26 shooting, and still went ahead to record 11 assists. According to the history of the NBA, this made the youngest NBA player to record a 50-10 game at the age of 20 years, 360 days. The record was previously held by LeBron James, who recorded 50 points and 10 assists in 2005 at the age of 23 years, 66 days. In the game against the Bucs, Giannis Antetokounmpo, who is the reigning defender and player of the year, had to leave the game in its opening minutes due to an injury, and some have argued that this made it easier for Kevin to record that sort of game. However, we shouldn't forget that the same Bucs team has Drew Holiday, who's currently among the top 10 guards in the NBA, and is shown to be totally capable of defending Porter. However, the 20-year-old still pulled an astounding 7 of 11 against Holiday. The problem was not the defenders, Kevin Porter was simply untouchable in that game. After the game with the Bucks, Kendrick Perkins called out the Cavs for giving up on Kevin for nothing. He then gave a shout-out to John Lucas, who has been a sort of motivation to the player due to mentoring John offers. At this rate, Kevin could be on his way to becoming a future superstar. Steven Silas, the head coach of the Rockets, has also mentioned that Kevin has been putting in exceptional work, especially on his three-pointers. Also, even though Porter is definitely not as big as the likes of Johnson and Doncic, he has shown that he has solid size for a one, and this helps him greatly in seeing the floor in other ways other guards can't. However, the biggest challenge with Porter remains the same his off-court behavior. Just recently, the player has been fined a sum of $50,000 for his violation of the league's health and safety rules. According to reports, Kevin and Sterling Brown, his teammate, had visited a strip club in Miami last weekend. Sterling was then assaulted right outside the club. The league current health rules state that the players aren't allowed to attend indoor social gatherings of more than 15 people or more. This automatically bars players from visiting bars, lounges, and clubs. The incident report revealed that an anonymous phone call was placed to the Miami-Dade police about a fight in the parking lot of Booby Trap. When the police arrived, Brown had multiple wounds on his body and was with another black male. Later on, Brown was identified by a fire department captain and he was promptly taken to the hospital for treatment. The police said there were no witnesses at the scene and the employees of the club have also mentioned that they didn't see what happened at the lot. However, TMZ reported that this was over a vehicle mix-up. They reported that Brown had entered the wrong Sprinter van, and the people inside the car decided to give him a beating for that mistake. Despite the circumstances of the situation, Kevin Porter Jr. will still be paying a fine of $50,000 for breaking the league's health and safety rules. Do you think this was completely unjust, as various fans have pointed out? Or do you think Kevin is still the same NBA bad boy? We'd have to wait for the next few weeks to judge his behavior. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button as more exciting videos are on the way. Thank you for watching. We are Courtside.